Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a guide video. Now, this is going to be talking about team building for Golem Speed 10. Um, I used to have like a very, very different outlook on Golem Speed 10, but now with the, all the changes um, to the Golem's resistance and how he's actually very, very sappable now, I've discovered that, you know, using sap is actually really, really nice on Golems. It's actually a very, very effective way to, um, you know, damage him and kill him very, very fast. It, it makes your runs a lot faster and also makes the run stable because if you're able to use saps to kill the golems um, you kind of eliminate a lot of threat you basically make it so that he dies before you're you know you're not able to sustain or anything like that um, so this is actually very very different the way I build my sappers for doing this golems b10 strategy is actually very very different from the the way that normally um, sappers would be built now I don't really have a light venus i think light venus would probably be the best unit to put in this slot you don't have to use a water purse um in this video i'm going to be actually showing a few comps using some of my friends monsters i can show like a double miho comp um but i think for the first run what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to borrow a friends light venus to to do this run i think this one's gen pretty well it's on triple hp on life set i'm going to borrow this light venus to do a test run and I'll, I'm going to use my Water Miho. Um, my Yuki is currently on gem, so I, I kind of have to use my Fire Purse. Basically, um, I only have this Light, light Vig. She's on Siphon, but it doesn't really matter. Um, she doesn't have the best Siphoning gems. She only has like two actual gems. The other, the third gem is like a filler gem. So her defense isn't too high. It's only at 9,000. But with another Light unit, she can basically tank this pretty easily. There's multiple ways you can do this. You can actually have her solo tank. And then if you have like a strong passive healer, like um, Water Persephone, you can actually use this. And then, But I think it would be better if she was like on protection set with um, you know actual, actual max out gems to have like over 10k defense. I, I don't think she can actually tank this like this. Uh, my, my Light Vig at, at the moment won't be able to do this. Um, so I'll, I'll be showing with, with two Light units. I can actually borrow someone's Light Vig as well if they have better gems. Like if they have max out gems. All right, this one's not gonna work. I'll, I'll start with the Venus first. I'll start with borrowing this, this Light Venus to do one run. Um, I think the strategy is to use a light healer. Now, if you miss the Venus event, don't worry. There's actually a, a monster that's actually perfect for this role, and that would be the light Gemini. Uh, this is actually pure theoret theoretical, because I don't think anyone has raised the light Gemini Evo 3 to 6 stars yet. I could probably do it, but um, I'm still considering it. So I'm going to do a, a very, very quick test run using the Venus and the Light Vic. Now, the very interesting thing about um, this new Sapper strategy for Golem Speed 10 is you actually want to use Sappers, but you don't want to build them the traditional way. You don't want to build them tanky. You want to build your Sappers with full damage, like full glass cannon. So I have this Fire Persephone on attack, triple, like Valor triple attack. So she has like very high attack. Um, this Water Miho is kind of this, built the same way, I think. Valor, triple attack as well. Or actually, it's crit rate double attack. Um, I think I'm mi I was missing an attack gem. So this still gives me like a, a lot of damage. So I'm, I'm basically just going to be doing this. And then we'll we'll do we'll just do one um, test run with this, and then I'll I'll use like a double Miho, and I'll use like my Light Siren as the other tank. I think I can I can probably um, my Light Vic can survive. If I have two light units splitting up the damage. Now, the the strategy why this is why this works so well is because with your sapper is built on full damage. Like with with you having light units um, to tank the damage, your sappers can be built on full attack because they'll never get targeted. And you want your sappers to do enough damage so you actually kill the wave really, really fast before you, um, your your light units actually come under threat. I think I can probably, if I use this light Venus, because she's actually very, very strong, it's possible that I can actually put her in as a solo tank and go with three sappers instead. Now you don't necessarily have to use this unit. There's a lot of light healers that are pretty good. Um, there's the like there's there's the light Venus. Obviously, she's the best. Um, there's the the light Succubus who was in a package, so a lot of people had her from before. If you bought the or 
It's not like a money package, it's the astrogen package. You could buy it with 6,000 astrogens. So a lot of people have that as well. You can actually use that as another like tank slash healer. Um, there's the there's the light Gemini that's out right now. She's a passive healer that's also a tank and also light. So she can take some of the damage and then you can split up the damage with your like light Victoria and she's able to basically sustain herself and the Victoria at the same time. So that's actually pretty nice. I think Venus is probably the most stable out of all the light healers. Um, she was from an event in the past, so a lot of people have her as well. Now, I don't, I am not sure if you can actually make a full farm mold team um, for Golden Speed 10, but there are a lot of event monsters, especially if you're starting now, like during this month. Um, you can actually get the Gemini, and she's she's gonna help you get into B10 relatively easily because she's a passive healer. So you actually the gem requirements for using like light light Gemini versus light Venus, um, and then with with a light Victoria tank, um, the gem requirement of using a passive healer is actually even lower because you don't need to worry at all about any sort of um, like, you don't have to worry too much about, like, you know, in case your bar is not full, you know, are you able to still sustain your team? Because you're always going to be healing every single turn. So, the like, there's a bigger, there's a bigger, um, like, cushion before your, your like, HP actually gets depleted to zero. Because you're always going to be near max health. Um, so it should be pretty, pretty easy with the Light Gemini if you, if we actually, someone does actually raise her. But at the time of recording this video right now, um, the event has only been out for a day, so like literally nobody has an Evo 3 Light Gemini built yet. But I think it'll be it'll be really really nice in the future. Now I'm gonna do a second run, and this time I I don't really have a Light Venus raised. Um, I'm just gonna use this Light Siren. She basically does the same thing. Like she still she has shield, but instead of a self heal, she has morale boost. So it's kind of it's she's pretty much the same as Light Venus. It's like the almost the same monster. Um, and I will actually use a use two two water mihos instead this time. Now I'm gonna borrow. Where is it? All right, we're we're gonna borrow this one. Now this is my friend Achilles. Um, he has he, his water miho is actually very very strong. Now this one is built with um, attack attack crit rate on ruin. And these two actually, you know, this this thing has a little bit of crit rate and crit damage. This thing has 13% crit rate. So, like, she basically has, like, 90-something 90, 90 um, percent crit rate right right here on a Ruin set with, like, attack, attack, crit rate. It's also max skill as well, so she's going to be, be doing a lot of damage. Um, a lot more damage than my Miho. So, we're going to... We're going to use this comp, we're going to go with the double Miho. You can basically use this with any sappers, basically building your sappers full attack. Um, I think ideally, like, Ruin with crit rate double attack is will get you the highest DPS. Yeah, that was that was so much damage, she just, she just straight out killed one of them. Now, the thing about um, doing Golden Speed 10 this way is the, the more damage that your sappers have, the the more reliable like they, they are. Because what you want to do is you want to you want to kill them as fast as possible so they actually um, have less threat. So ideally you want your sappers to, to have so much damage that they can basically um, guarantee to kill one unit at the beginning of each wave. Well, not, not just guarantee. Like, even if it doesn't, it should still be fine, but um, ideally you do want everything to, you want to be able to like kill one of the units on wave one. And then, you know, on your second attack, you want to kill something else instead. So by the third turn, at the very, very least, you know, like two units would be dead. And then at the same time, your sappers will, will not only do a lot of damage to the boss, they're going to be, you know, like through, through their normal attacks, but they're also going to be sapping the boss nonstop. So they'll be doing like even more damage after that. Alright, this seems really nice. I'm just spamming my AoE nonstop. Siren still refuses to use her heal, but it seems like it's perfectly fine. Now, the other thing about using like the Light Gemini is because she she's a passive healer, it doesn't matter if she gets silenced during this turn. Because if she gets si if your healer gets silenced during this turn, there's actually a lot of risk. Your, your units dying 
So um, it's probably safer to actually even use a passive healer. But this definitely seems really, really fast. You know, maybe I should raise the light Gemini just so I can show you guys how 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 well she does on the stage. And that was pretty good. That was definitely quite nice. That was two minutes and twenty-two seconds with these two mihos. Now my miho is kind of shitty. Um, his miho is definitely a lot better than mine. I can actually do another one. And I can use another friend's rep um, with another Miho, but I, I think I think it's good enough. Like you know, showing just showing this run is is pretty good. Um, the other thing you can actually do is you can actually go with a if you want a more stable run. Like if you're getting into B10 for the first time, um, a really good strategy. Like during this month, it's really it's it's a really nice time to start B10 because they're giving us the Gemini and they're also giving us the Light Coco. The Light Coco is also another aggressor. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Light Coco built, but I can also borrow someone else's Light Vic to kind of get the same same results. Actually, this one's too weak. Hmm. Well, I could test this out. Now, I've never tested this out. Now, my other Light Vic is actually pretty weak. She only has uh, 7,000 defense but I guess I can try it out I'll, I'll go with this and then I'll put in a sapper I'll put in like my best one or maybe I can use someone else's oh wait I do have another friend with a pretty strong water miho over here all right this is Sheena um, my my other friend he's a his his water miho has triple attack all right so it has 6k attack it's max guild it's level 57 so we'll try this out. I think this is probably a really stable comp. You basically put Gemini here and you put um, the like Coco here. And then this will this will actually be the same strategy. Now I'm using a lot of replacements, but basically you guys get the idea. It's like it's all about uh, it's all about strategy. It's all about like the you know the way you want you use certain units. Whoa, this is this is a four dark moon flower wave. I think I'm fucked. Oh, this Miho doesn't do enough damage. Holy shit. Alright, okay, I think I'm fucked. Actually, no. We're good. Yeah, this this is pretty stable. Like, I just went up against the f a 4 Dark Moon Fire Wave on turn 1. My Siren has, like, my healer has her heal. Now, if you're using, like, the Light Gemini, it's going to be a lot more stable because you're, she's going to be constantly healing, so there's, there's no real risk over there. But I think if you have, like, a maxed out, um, Coco, a maxed out Miho, instead of, instead of whatever we have over here, uh, and then, like, a your Light Vic actually has, like, all her gems on, like, protection completely maxed out, then... It'll definitely be stable, I think. B10 is not easy. B10 requires actual, like, pretty good gems. Like, you have to actually use a full set of 6-star gems, completely max out in order to do B10 stably. And I'm actually doing it right here with some, some like, plus 12 gems. So, you know, it's 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 already pretty good doing using a comp similar to this. Now, I'm not sure yet, but I probably will be raising a Light Coco. Um later this month, as well as the Light Gemini. I kind of want to raise her just for, like, collection purposes, because, you know, she's a... she She's a very well-designed monster. Visually. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Using, um, double aggressor with a healer and a, and a sapper. Basically, put Gemini on this slot and put Light Coco on this slot. You, you can pretty much get the same results. Probably better results with the Gemini because it's it's more stable the Gemini because she's a passive healer.
So yeah, this is this isn't really to show a team. It's to kind of um, give you guys the general idea to building a Golem Speed Ten team. Now, if you if you guys have any questions, like actual questions on like what units you, you can use for Golem Speed Ten, you can send me your box. Um, I'm always glad to help. You can you can message me on Discord as well. Like there's there's a lot of people on Discord. They can they can help you as well on my Discord channel. If you want the link, it's below in my description. You can check that out. Um, if you want to ask any questions in real time, like I'm pretty much always on Discord. So if you, like even when I'm out, I'm on my phone, I'm still always on Discord. So like you'll you'll always be able to reach me there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So this is just the general idea for for running like a a sapper plus like light tank strategy. I think it's a pretty nice idea to start with like three light tanks first and one sapper. It's probably a little bit more stable because you're splitting up the damage three way instead of two way. And then once you get better gems, you can maybe go with um, two light tanks and then two sappers. And then once you get like even better gems and which either requires you to use like a light Venus or you need to put your aggressor on like leech gems, you can go with like one light tank and then like three three sappers built with full attack. But yeah, that was that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys this um, new Golems V10 strategy. I think this is probably the way that most people should be building for Golems V10 because you can easily get under three minute runs. Now these, you know, if I had like max gems, if I had like, um, cause like this like Victoria, this like Victoria doesn't even really have max gems. But you know, if I, if I did have that, then, you know, I can, I think I can probably get like two minute and a half um, consistently, which is a really, really nice way to start Golem Speed 10. Like, you can, if you can start a run under three minutes, like the moment you start farming Golem Speed 10, that's already really, really nice. So, that is pretty much it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.